So I've refilled my shuttle, attached to my ball again to get started on next round. This one is a little bit more involved. It's So it's the little ring, then you go down with Victorian sets, and then you make this very large ring, which is like we've done before, actually a chain joined back onto itself with an alligator join, and then back up here for the next ring. Only the small rings will be made with the shuttle, and the rest of the work, the thread will all come from the ball. So we're starting off with a ring of two double stitches, one, two, and then three picots separated by two stitches, one, two picot, three picot, and another two stitches, so two stitches after the picot, so two stitches, one picot, two stitches, one picot, two stitches, one picot, two stitches, and then we are joining in between the scallops of the round we've just finished. That's why I said it's good to leave yourself a little bit more of a gap there with a small pico to be able to more easily join in that space. Like this. And then repeat the same on the other side of the ring. So I'm going to fold it out of the way like this and complete the ring with two stitches, three picots separated by two stitches, and then another two stitches. So that's one pico, two stitches, one pico, two stitches, one pico, and the last two stitches. So that's the ring. And close the ring. Like this. I don't really want to reverse work because I, again I want to everything to face the same way so I think I will just which you wouldn't do normally you would turn over to make the chain but I want to make it on the same side but use the ball threads so I'm just going to leave my threads to cross there at the bottom and we want to make four Victorian sets two Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Another set, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one last set, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And the large ring is made with four stitches, then 17 picots separated by two stitches. So four full stitches, two, three, four, and now 17 picots separated by two stitches. That's a lot of picots. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And 17. And three stitches after the last pico. So there's one we've just made to complete the pico. So two more stitches. Two. And as we've done before on this 
on the very first round. We're just going to let this curve onto itself. Like that. And you want to line it up between the first, as we did before, between the first and second stitch. And then carry on making your sets and that will hold it in place. Two, three, four. So you can see that the large ring. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm going to fold that out of the way again. One, two, three, four. So that's two sets. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Three sets. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four sets and repeat the ring. As you can see, actually, you would have to reverse work here. So that they face the right way. So you would reverse for me to make this change and reverse again to make the ring, but that would mean you'd need two shuttles and two shuttles are not called for in this pattern. And I think what I'm going to do, I must admit, I can't remember what I did with my first, when I made it the first time, but I will let, I don't think it'll make much difference. I'm just gonna let this go over and use the shuttle to make the ring without reversing work. So two stitches, three picots separated by two stitches, two, so two picots, two stitches, third picot, and two stitches. And now we're joining in the next space between the scallops of the previous round. It's not a very big gap but you should be able to find the little space between the stitches. Fold it out of the way and complete the ring with two stitches. One, two, and then three picots, two stitches. So second picot, third picot, and two stitches. Like this. Yep, I think it looks absolutely fine. You can hardly tell that I'm crossing here my threads to be able to stay on the same side. So I'll just do just one more and then I'll let you carry on by yourself until the end of the round. So as you see, my threads are crossed here to make the Victorian sets after the ring. But that means now all our stitches are facing the front again. We don't need to reverse work. All our threads coming from the, from the ball and we don't need a second shuttle. One, two, three, four. 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 So that's two sets. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and the last one, two, three, four. And now we're ready to make the large ring again. So four stitches, one, two, three, three, sorry, one, two, three, and four. And now we're back to the 17 picots separated by two stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. <laughs> I'm going to laugh again because I promised myself I wouldn't forget to put insert a magic loop in this round and I did it again. So hopefully if you've not got started, if you want to use magic loops in this round, you would insert it into this first chain here. 
I'll just put it down to my enthusiasm. I'm always the same. I want to get started on the round and then I always forget to put them in. Two, four, six, seven, eight. And 17. And three more stitches. One, two, three. Let it curl onto itself, making sure your ball thread is underneath the work and your core thread or shuttle thread is on top of your work, like this. Line it up between the first and second stitches and then carry on with Victorian sets. So we are making good progress. There's only two, no, there's three rounds left after this one. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I hope it's going well. Please let me know in the comments where you're at if you're following along. Two, three, four, two sets. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one last set. One, Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So we're back to making the small ring and attaching between the scallops. So that's it. Small ring, two stitches, three picots separated by two stitches, two stitches and join, and the same on the other side of the ring. So you mirror it on the other side. Then you have four Victorian sets. Then you make a large ring that starts with four full stitches. 17 picots separated by two stitches and three more stitches to end curl onto itself and then with an alligator join you just put your ball thread underneath your your core thread on top and then you carry on with victorian stitches on the other side four sets again and you make the small ring so there you are i'll let you carry on with this and i'll work on mine and i'll see you at the end of this round see you soon bye bye